Okay, so I just got in from milking our new goat brownie. She's the one that's in milk that we got recently, and I just milked her. She seems to be drying up. I was not able to milk her yesterday or the day before to completely um, empty her out, so um, she seems to be drying up a little bit. She didn't take very long to um, empty out, and this is how much I got from her. Ooh, it's not focusing, but this jar is a quart size jar. Um, this is a mason jar of what we've collected over the week. Now keep in mind, um, she knocked over the bucket quite a few times, most every time that we milked her. Um, so that's what we were able to come up with with what she didn't knock over. I will go ahead and strain and clean up this new milk for today and add it to this and then this jar will probably be full. And this milk, I'm not using it, I'm not consuming it. I may use it for practice milk soap um, to see how my recipes go. Um, but mostly I've been just trying to milk her to empty her out and keep her in production. Um, we finally got our stanchion in today so I will make a video coming up soon about that. And we've got to just kind of pull it, put it together. We're not building it from scratch. I went ahead and just ordered it because we have so much going on that I just wanted to, to make it easier on us. But um, I think probably the next one we'll go ahead and just build from the plans that they have online. Um, and I can link some of those plans on that video below um, that video. But for now, um, I just wanted to give you a, a, a kind of visual of how much milk we're getting or how much milk we've gotten in this first week that we've had her. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy. I know it's not a lot of milk, but I'm pretty happy with what we've gotten and I can use this and hopefully if I continue to milk her once or twice a day then she'll stay in milk and um, maybe our other goat will have a baby soon and we'll have that one. Thanks for watching.